Welcome and happy 4th of July. Today we're going to be making red, white, and blue French toast. And these are our red, white, and blue ingredients. We have fresh blueberries, fresh sliced strawberries, and some white powdered sugar here. For French toast, I like to use Texas toast. So I have six slices of Texas toast here. These are some of the other ingredients. We're going to be using a pinch of salt, some ground cinnamon, some ground nutmeg. Kendrews makes this uh, maple rub that I've used in the past on meats, but I've also um, tried it in this French toast mix and it works really well. So it's a brown sugar mix with maple flavor and I like to add a little bit of that. We're definitely gonna need some of this vanilla extract. I have three eggs here. I have some regular cane sugar there. I'm gonna need a mixing bowl and a whisk. I have some butter, which I'm gonna be using for the um, in, in the cast iron skillet. And I have three quarters or uh, three quarters of a cup or six ounces of half and half. Um, if you don't have half and half or cream on hand, you can just go with uh, regular whole milk. And so I should just be clear, the ratio I use is one ounce for every uh, one ounce of half and half or cream for every uh, piece of bread. So I have six ounces there for the six pieces of bread that I'm gonna make the French toast with. And I use one egg for every two pieces of bread. So that's that's the main ratio. In terms of the um, spice or seasoning, you can you can kind of mix that up at your own discretion. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I just set the skillet at a low heat with a little bit of oil in the pan. Uh, putting the mix together only takes me a few minutes. So um, if if you're pretty efficient with how you put it together, you can have the skillet uh, preheating on the stove. If not, just do the mix first, and then you can um, heat up your skillet. All right, so I've already cracked the three eggs. I have one table, um, excuse me, one teaspoon of the vanilla extract. I'm gonna add a second one right now. And I'm gonna add the sugar. And I've already put that uh, pinch of salt and that maple rub in. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. I tend to go heaviest on the cinnamon uh, with this recipe. So there's quite a bit of cinnamon in there. And the half and half, so this is the six ounces. And now I'm just gonna uh, mix it up with a whisk. Um, so I'll do that off camera, and I'll check back in when I'm uh, gonna add butter to the skillet and then put the toast um, right in the skillet uh, um, after I dunk it in this mix. So I'll be right back in a minute when I'm ready to start cooking. So I just added a little bit of butter to the cast iron skillet. I have my mix ready here. And now I'm gonna show you um, how I make the French toast. So I just take each piece of toast I dunk it in the, the mix for, I don't know, about five seconds on each side. Get the edges. You don't wanna like just let it sit in there and soak. You wanna you know, do five, 10 seconds tops um, on each side. You're just gonna put it right down in the butter, face down there. You want the second piece. Just wanna make sure you get a good coat. Again, a few seconds on each side. Again, if your butter's melted, you just put it right on top where the butter melted in your skillet. Now, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to add the um, the strawberries right in the uh, right in the skillet, and I'm going to add some of the blueberries. Cool. All right, so I give it about three to four minutes on each side. So um, about three minutes or so, I check on it and then I flip it over. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. So this is a really uh, quick recipe. I'll show you the final dish in a few minutes. The French toast is almost done. I just flipped it over a few minutes ago. I'm going to take it out of the skillet momentarily and add some of that powdered sugar with these berries. And I'll show you the final uh, picture of it in a few moments. All right, here we have it. Red, white, and blue French toast for the 4th of July. I hope you guys like this recipe. And please subscribe to my channel if you like this video.